Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, my name is Kat and today we will be unboxing the very new, <laughs> hopefully I'll get this edited today and it'll be like sparkly new because it only came today, um, Charlotte Tilbury mystery box um, that they've just released. I've forgotten for the life of me uh, what it was called, like magic dreams made of dreams, I can't remember. Um, I will pop it in the description. So this box was released, I want to say Thursday, Friday, something like that. Um, and uh, it was £95 with a value of £190, I believe. Um, and they gave you like little shadow symbols at the bottom and said like guess what these are uh, one of the items was revealed i think it was a lipstick uh, which i don't think is going to be a good color for me um but we'll have a look at it anyway and we'll see what we think um and then because i spent over i think it was like 75 then they sent a couple of freebies sample things as well so as you can see i have not opened um so i thought i would show you my reactions in real time um but yeah let's get started so it came today in this snazzy little box um uh, with this Charlotte Tilbury paper. Um, I don't think I missed any details, did I? Oh, it's kind of like they released it like on the app, which is brand new as well. It's only been out like a month or something. So, oh, this paper's quite sticky. Ooh, two seconds. Two seconds, right, there we go. Okay, so inside we have like a little samples there and then the box and some plastic. So let me just take that out. Uh, so the freebies that I got, um, so you had a choice of like picking little samples. So I picked the Magic Eye Rescue, which I don't think I've tried. I might have done, um, maybe. And then Charlotte's Magic Cream, which I have had before, but the other samples were like um, for foundations and all that kind of stuff. And I wasn't planning on getting any. So I have a friend I know who I know I can pass that one on to. And I will give the eye cream a go myself. Okay, so then as part of this, um, you got a free lipstick. So yeah, as, as one of the, the freebies of purchasing, you got a lipstick, Charlotte Til Tilbury Mrs. Kisses. There you go. I have a sneaky suspicion this is going to be too dark or too brown for me. Um, but I will pop it open and we can have a look. Um, <coughs> worst case scenario, I have people, friends, I can pass these things on to. Uh, how do I open it? How do I open it? One minute, please, caller. I find with a lot of it, so I really like the Pillow Talk lipstick. Really like the Pillow Talk lipstick, um, which I'm wearing today um, in honour of the fact I was doing a Charlotte Tilbury video. Um, but a lot of the other lipsticks, I find they're just too um, kind of brown on my lips and or too orange. Um, and because I am not particularly um, adventurous um, and because I'm quite pasty, um, I just find that a lot of lipsticks don't actually suit me. Um, so... Let's pop that over there. So it comes in this really, really cute little slidey box thing. Um, and it comes in there. It's only a package. Now, I believe, I could be completely wrong, this is a refillable kind of lipstick pod. So if I didn't like it, for example, I could pop it out and then put one that I did like in there. And then that could be my little, my little lipstick, which is very blingy. If I show you that there. There we go. I should have probably showed you the pro box properly as well. Ooh. The box is gone, but I will, I will, I will like put a little image in there of it. But the inside of the box is quite nice. Um, but yes, so there is the lipstick. Let's have a quick look at the colour. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that. It's got little, Im oh, look at the detail on that. It's very cute. But alas, I feel like it is too dark for me. It's a bit too, too browny, um, which is a shame, but um i'm sure i can find somebody to pass this on to um i'll push it up all the way so you can see it in its beautiful glory you can see all that detail on there it's super super pretty um for a lipstick you kind of don't want to ruin it really um but yes alas i feel not quite right for me um but nonetheless it is a nice little freebie uh, this probably retails for about like 20 to 30 pounds something like that so yeah i i will pass that on as a gift unused um yeah with lipsticks i have so many lip products and i am quite selective about the kind of colors that i go for um i like it to be quite um natural so yeah but a nice thing to have and it is obviously expensive item you could have also if you spent more so i think if you went to Oh, 145 you also got a oh what was it a mascara and brow gel maybe and then if you went the one above that which was 200 pounds something like that then there was like a face wash or some other bits and pieces but i i've spent quite a lot lately so i was 
uh, a bit reserved, a bit reserved. And to be fair, I didn't know what I was going to get in the box. So I didn't want to take the risk of like getting any duplicates or anything like that. So let's just pop this box to one side. Right, here we go. We're going to take it out of the plastic. It's very nicely wrapped and presented. Um, do you like the Charlotte Tilbury boxes? So I will be keeping this box because it is quite nice. Um, yeah, and I believe it's probably a magnetised box. There we go. And then inside we have some tissue paper um, that are hiding. Now, um, I did watch a couple of people kind of guessing what some of the items are. Um, I myself personally um, don't really mind. Like, I don't have much Charlotte Tilbury. I have a couple of, like, palettes. Um, I think I've got Walk of Shame. And I've got another one that's kind of, kind of, pearlescent kind of one that I got in TK Maxx and then I've got bits and pieces like an eyebrow gel I think I've got a pillow talk up there I could be completely completely wrong and then obviously I've got the pillow talk lipstick so I don't have much um in terms of them oh and obviously the skincare but I don't know if there's much skincare in this I think it looked like mostly makeup from the images but let's open it up oh it's all very nicely done okay mine got a little bit twizzled it should have looked like that with a little sticker so let's just open her Ooh. Okay. I don't want to rip it, but then why? Because I'm not going to rewrap it. Okay, so let's go from the biggest. So the first thing in here that I can see, um, which was like the first image on the, the little shadows, is this, which is the Glow Toner. So it's with niacinamide, um, portite and peptide and plus X foliactive um daily glow a uh, daily radiant glow solution and it's 150 mils i have no idea what this rrp is for it's probably like 30 40 quid or something like that um and yeah i have actually used this before um i am not the biggest fan of it i know i know um i just find um it's quite goopy i don't know how else to like when like if i'm using like a, a toner like i don't know um elemis it's very liquidy with this one it's kind of a little bit more essence kind of um kind of texture to it i guess is the best way to describe it but um i may use it i'm not sure yet or i may pass it on um but it's a nice thing to have in there um especially if you haven't tried the range yet um just to say what it is so this is does it give me a little description or is that all um so a hydrating peptide powered acid free toner skin feels gently resurfaced for a radiant glow over 91 percent of users agree uh skin looks younger and renewed skin looks glowing and plumper pores look reduced um clinically proven results skin feels 60 60 percent smoother and hydration boosted by 172 percent in one hour wow so yeah it's um it's, it's nice enough um i think it's just one of those ones where you have like a preference on the kind of stuff um it might be because i'm quite an oily person anyway i think this just kind of made me feel a little bit kind of greasy but that's just me personally and i'm sure it works really nice on a lot of people but again really nice thing to have cool oh should i should probably get it out of the box as well just to show people who've not seen it before i think it's got quite a milky kind of um coloring so quick look Whoa. there we go yeah so quite a milky tonic um yeah again like like i said not really my favorite um but it's 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 kind of a, a mystery box so you can't you, you don't know what you're gonna get so yeah. okay that's the first item i had wondered whether it was going to be the new hydro mist but i thought no they probably won't give that away for like cheap they want you to pay full price for that one for a little while um okay so the next one we've got in here is a makeup item this is a rock and coal um iconic liquid eye pencil okay uh liquid eye pencil doesn't it like crayon uh okay it's 1.2 grams and it is in the color oh god what does that say bedroom black what that means um let's get it out and have a quick ganders okay so there you go oh, did i do that properly i didn't actually show you what it was so there's the box standard charlotte tilbury box um, and then here is the actual pencil. Um, again, I think it's just like a black, black eyeliner. There we go. So yeah, and you can see that. It's picking up my face. There we are. So yeah, standard black eyeliner. I guess it's one of those ones because it's a, a mystery box. 
most people use black eyeliner so it's kind of a given but I've, i don't have anything like this so happy to have it um i don't tend to use that much eyeliner i'm trying to experiment more lately you probably can't see because of my glasses but i'm trying to um do more with my eyes so i put that away and see if i can actually uh get around to using that one uh, it's going to be one of those ones with the cold ones i think you can like smudge them out and create some smoky looks so i will play i'll have a play okay next one. Oh, oh gosh this is weird packaging uh this is okay this is a mascara it says lashes so i assume yeah mascara it's five star mascara gosh uh so this is full fat lashes um five star mascara um curl separation volume length drama and it is eight mils so i don't know if you can see the packaging there it's kind of this quirky little diamond shape which is quite nice That's a bit reminiscent to me of the um the hourglass packaging like the triangular stuff so this is in a glossy back black so again another very um universal kind of color that will appeal to most people uh, and there we go again i'm not going to open this one because i do have many many open but hopefully you can see um standard charlotte tilbury uh mascara like i think they're pillow talk i might have it like a tester for that one i don't know if i've got a full size that one but i think that's a more like a pink bottle see i've not seen this one before so it'll be cool to give it a go i'll add it to the list of mascaras that i have i'm gonna have to get rid of some there's no way i'm gonna get around to using them all um so yeah nice thing to have again i have no idea how much any of these things retail for so i will pop them at the bottom um but i think the whole thing is meant to equal like 190 so i'm going to assume that these are between like 20 30 pounds each I'm assuming I'm assuming cool next up we have oh this is one i actually did really really want hope that was in there and one of the little pictures looked like it so um it is the charlotte magic lip oil crystal elixir and it is an eight mil which i believe is a full size i think they're all full sizes so far um so yeah this one has been everywhere for quite some time this is one of the items i nearly picked up to kind of get up to the next threshold but i thought oh maybe not maybe not yeah, there you go. Funky packaging. I think it's a rollable. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there you go. You can see that there. So yeah, put that on over the top um, of your lipstick. Um, I like I said recently, as I said in my previous videos, um, I'm getting into lip oil. It's a bit of a weird kind of texture on your lips. I'm still getting used to it. But to be honest, wearing lipstick is is a quite a new thing for me like I like having them and I like I like lip balms I like lip balms but lipsticks um yeah it's just getting used to kind of having something there and not getting irritated by it constantly um so for anyone who doesn't know what the lip oil does is uh lip oil that's in a different language I'm not gonna get far with that um Charlotte's secret crystal infused super job charged lip treatment for hydrated luscious lips apply throughout the day or as an overnight conditioner so it would be uh, probably something I'd use in the day rather than nighttime. But you can use it as a lip mask. So there's the option there if you, you prefer. But yeah, happy with that one. Again, I've got no idea how much these things real to retail for. I probably should know. 27 maybe? I can't remember. I can't remember. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. Now, this is the one that they did reveal was going to be in here. So this is the Super Nudes um, uh, Cat Walking, which see there it's i have a feeling it's going to be very orangey let's have a quick ganders um again nice nice packet i'll, I'll show you the packaging this time i don't remember if i did that or not so here is the kind of standard uh this is what my pillow talk kind of packaging looks like there we go Ooh, now does this have a little emboss stuff no this one's just very um sorry fingerprints all over it yeah that's quite brown um quite orange Again, beautiful colour, but I just don't think that's going to work on me. I'm not really a orangey um, kind of lip person. I have tried. I've d tried many, many times to try and make this colour work for me, but unfortunately it just doesn't. So, but again, I think I've gone past that on to somebody. Um, I have a friend of mine who suits all, all shades of nude, which I envy her for, um, but I'm more like pinky um, lipsticks. But again, really, really pretty, really nice thing to have uh, in the box. I'm gonna guess between 20 and 30 pounds. I'm gonna guess. Um, and then the last thing in here is a palette. Oh no! Oh, it's good, but I actually have this one. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Uh this one is the luxury palette of pearls. Um, which I, I'm not gonna take out the box, I'm just gonna go and grab mine 
two seconds. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, weirdly, I have two eye palettes for Charlotte Tilbury. One is the Walk of Shame, and the other one is this one. So, I've not, I've not opened this one, as you can see, but this is the same one, Celestial Pearl. Celestial Pearl. Yeah, you can see there. So, I actually got this one in TK Maxx. Uh, I think it was about £30, £29.99 or something like that, um, about three months ago. Um... So that's weird but yeah it's a really nice palette really nice palette um i'll show you this one which is mine which i have swatched so i'll swatch again for you um but yeah you can see at the front there it's like um very pearlescent which is beautiful um and then that's the back of it i thought it was my fingerprints everywhere Let's clean those up a bit um and then on the inside i'll cover the mirror those are the colors so they're all kind of shimmer shades um to some degree so i'll just swatch those for you frustrating the one palette i have um right stay there don't make a mess right so if i just hopefully give you that an idea so you can see there um the kind of shimmer that you get on those so really pretty especially for like the over um at the end uh, the brown one's probably the least shimmery one but again it's it's quite nice to kind of buff it out and make it a bit shiny but that's just one little finger finger touch of each um so yeah i love the palette i do but i don't think i've ever finished an eye palette so again i might have to pass that one on um which is a bit sad um but hey it's, it's it's a mystery box so you can never tell what you're gonna get um i didn't think i thought this one maybe have been discontinued that's why it was at tk max um so to have it in this box yeah i don't know um I'm a little bit disappointed but again it's because it's a mystery box you can't guarantee what you're going to get um and to be fair like they'll make good gifts for people so um i'll make sure that i uh pass them on to the people i think are going to get the most use out of them so but anyway that is everything that's in the box hopefully that's given you an idea i believe it's still available at the moment like i said um 95 pounds um i don't know if you can get any discounts on it or anything like that i know obviously if you sign up the app um, I think there's like percentage discounts on your first purchase and all that, but I don't know if it, it applies to like sale items or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, I'll leave all links in the bottom so you can have a look and I will leave like the descriptions of the items so you can see what they are, um, and how much they are retail, they retail for, etc. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helped if you, you're thinking about it, I'm going to about it. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.